making the coin toss up in unity. Let's start by making a new project. I will name mine Coin Toss App. Right click on scene hierarchy window and add a cube. I am going to scale it to be the platform where our coin would land. Now at a cylinder, we will downscale its width as thin as a coin. I am going to move the coin closer to the camera and make sure it is visible in our scene. Since the ground and the coin both are of the same color, let's make a new material and add it to the coin. Now I am going to make a new cylinder inside the coin hierarchy. You'll notice that the new cylinder has the same scale as the coin, that's because the, the new cylinder being the child of the coin also acquires all of its properties that is its position and scale. I am going to position the new cylinder on top of the previous cylinder and name it as coin heads and the previous cylinder as coin tails. So now our head side of the coin is the white side and the tail side is the red side. Now select the parent coin that is coin tails and in the inspector window select add components and then add rigid body. Rigid body will add physics to the coin which will simulate when we press the play button. You'll notice that the coin goes out of the frame since our camera stays at the same place and does not follow the coin movement. To change that let's make a camera follow script that will move our camera when the coin is moved. Open the code editor and add the following script. In the script, add a public game object in which we will attach our coin and a vector variable offset in which we will store camera position in respective of the coin. In void start, we will declare the offset variable which is the distance between coin and the camera as the camera follows the coin. Since we want to keep the distance as specified in the scene view, we can calculate it by getting position of the camera through transform.position and subtracting coin position from it. In the update function we need to update this offset position each frame our game updates. So that distance between camera and coin is maintained in each frame. Attach coin object to the script. As you can see our coin is simulated but it does not touch the ground. That is because our coin has the cylinder collider that covers more than just the coin area. So let's just remove both the colliders from both of our coin faces and add new component mesh collider in both of them. Check the convex property of the mesh collider which automatically maps the coin model and produces an accurate collider. Now I will add the same in the other coin face. Our coin finally touches the ground properly. Let's add a script to our coin that will make the actual coin toss happen by adding all the necessary forces. First we need access to the rigid body component of the coin to add forces to, for which you can use game object variable and then attach coin object to it and later get its rigid body component through get component function or you can add rigid body variable and attach objects rigid body directly to it. Note that since the script is attached to the coin object you can also use this dot rigid body command to get the rigid body component of the coin object. I have created a coin toss function that will be used to add forces to the coin and make the actual toss happen. Since I called the coin toss function in update function, the coin seems to just fly off the map. That is because the update function is called each frame but here we need to call coin toss function only once, for that we can call it in start function. 
We can use add force and add torque functions with rigid body to apply forces to the coin. Our virtual coin now behaves like a real-life coin. You can test by adding forces of different magnitude and direction to your coin to see what works better. But we need different outcomes each time the coin is tossed, for that we can use random range function to get random magnitudes for the coin. First I will make an integer variable, jump force, that will give system a magnitude of how much upward force should be added to the coin on each toss. Similarly you can have another integer for the amount of torque that should be applied to the coin. Here you can test with different forces and direction to whatever suits you the best. Currently our coin does not have any physics material attached to it, so it does not interact with the ground like a real coin. We can change that by adding a physics material to our coin. Here you can increase the bounciness of the coin and add friction forces. You can also increase the weight of the coin in rigid body component to make the compact even more realistic. You can try different types of settings with different types of forces to enact your type of coin toss. Now to call the toss at user's command, let's create a button using Unity UI elements. Right click on hierarchy window and in UI menu select the button element, this will create a canvas along with a button element attached to it. You can change the alignment of the button by going to scene window and changing perspective to 2D and then double clicking on the button, you will be directed to the position of the button. After customizing the button, go to the inspector window and in on click menu, attach the coin object to it and call coin toss function from coin toss script. I will also remove the call of coin toss function from start function. Now you can toss the coin by clicking on the button. The max angular velocity of the object is locked at a certain magnitude in Unity, to change that you can use rigid body dot max angular velocity. You can adjust this according to your liking. Now let's add two triggers to the coin to detect and tell user the result of the toss. For that we will add two cube under coin object, rescale them and add one opposite to each face of the coin. The lower cube will represent the coin landing as heads and the upper cube will represent the coin landing as tails. Remove mesh renderers from both of the cubes and add head and tail scripts to them, head script specifying the action if coin lands as heads and tail script specifying the action on coin landing as tails. Also make sure to check is trigger in the box collider window of each cube. We will use on trigger stay function to detect the collision of the tigus with the ground when the coin has landed. Now, let's make the game print tails when the tails trigger is activated and print heads when the heads trigger is activated. We can do so by debug.log command. We can also add text field using Unity UI elements and print the result in it. Let's add a text field.
In the tail script, let's add a variable type text in which we will attach the text field we just added. Also make sure to add using unityengine.ui in the top of the script or else the code would not work. Now on collision you can change the text of the text field using textField.text command. Do the same for head script. Make sure to attach the text field in both of the scripts. The game works fine. Make sure to like the video if you liked it and subscribe for more videos like this. Also find a link to one of my coin toss apps available on Android down in the description box. Thanks for watching.